Here is Conradin Industry TV and I'd like to welcome Mr. Rahman Jamal, Global Technology and Marketing Director of National Instruments. Mr. Jamal, and I is talking about big analog data. What has it got to do with Industry 4.0 and the Industrial Internet of Things? Big analog data is first of all the physical world is the biggest source of analog data. That's why we call it big analog data. Uh, in fact, National Instruments has been providing over four decades uh, a vision uh, to help our users, engineers and scientists to acquire big analog data, uh, analyze big analog data and present big analog data. But today we are in the times of the convergence of the physical world with the Internet and this phenomena has many different names, Internet of Things, which is then subdivided into Internet of Commercial Things, in Internet of Industrial Things, that again subdivides into smart grids, smart mobility, but also smart factory, which again is called Industry 4.0 in Germany. Uh, and in the academic world, you call it cyber-physical systems. But independent of the fact how you call the phenomenon, it's all about big analog data, uh, data that is acquired, analyzed, and present using modern IT technologies. What is uh, the architecture that utilizes big analog data to implement Industry 4.0 and Industrial Internet of Things applications? Yeah. It's a very good question uh, because at the heart of all these applications or labels that I just mentioned, you find an architecture which physically interacts with the physical world, uh, which does a lot of computing, complex computation, and then uh, you have a comprehensive connectedness. Uh, and the device that represents this structure is called a smart edge device. And in fact, at this uh, SPS drive sh show, we are introducing a new family of smart edge devices called IC3173, uh, which is basically an industrial controller that communicates, that connects, and that controls. Okay. In uh, 2014, AT&T Cisco, GE, IBM and Intel founded the IIC, Industrial Internet Consortium. Uh, how is an I involved and do you see any differences to the concepts of Industry 4.0? Yeah, there are more similarities than differences, although sometimes we talk about the differences. Uh, first of all, IIC is much more horizontally positioned. It covers areas like smart grid, smart mobility, but also smart factory, which in Germany is called Industry 4.0. So as you see, there is a lot of similarity between the Smart Factory Initiative and the Industry 4.0. And in fact, we are involved as a global company in both of the initiatives. Uh, so we are involved in the test beds uh, initiated by the IIC, where you have uh, test beds on track and trace systems, on smart grids. But also on the Industry 4.0 side, we have companies like Airbus uh, prototyping the factory of the future using NI platform, the Rio architecture, for example. So, you know, in these times, I think it's much more about collaboration than pointing out the differences, and especially in times of global technology, a collaboration is a must. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jamal, thank you for your information.